Hey guys, I know it's been a while since I uh, posted a video, but uh, here we are, printing a lovely cyber truck. Give you a little rundown of what has happened since the last time I posted up. Uh, looks like the same printer, not the same printer. Uh, I had a couple heat issues with the other Pro 2. Um, I had a couple concurrent issues that seemed like there was a small problem with uh, one of the boards on the my original Pro 2 and um, got talking to the right people at Raise 3D and they took care of me. Uh, I sent my other printer back and they sent me a refurbished printer and it's been great ever since. I had a couple things that I have figured out, should have figured out prior. Um, this printer, it's enclosed. When you print PLA, you print it with the top off. Even when you print with ABS, it prints incredibly hot. So the profile typically that's set up uh, through the idea maker usually puts ABS and such at like 250 degrees, 255 degrees, something like that. Uh, which most ABS, that's fine. Uh, but when it's in this type of sealed environment, that 255 creates a ton of heat. And um, it causes a lot of clog issues, uh, just a lot of other issues. So I would highly recommend that when you are doing your profile, if you are printing with ABS or something higher, where you do not or cannot have the top off, that you drop your temperature down. Best thing to do, load your filament inside there turn it to what temperature that it says it's supposed to do you can do that manually and see if you have seepage from the nozzle if you have seepage from the nozzle it's too damn high bring it down by one degree until it stops and then probably bring it down a degree or two from there and try just a 20 by 20 cube and see how it comes out um that's kind of how i cleaned up a lot of issues that i had afterwards that i was like damn it i'm having board issues again or having this issue or that issue and it's just too hot inside this thing it is so well chambered that it gets incredibly hot um and don't mind all the mess i have in here i haven't cleaned it up i've been pumping work out on this thing for the past couple of weeks and well i'm not the best at cleaning up little flakes and specks so uh try that trick out if you're having problems i did get a great use out of uh pva esun's pva amazing stuff if you need water soluble good stuff um i printed i believe it at 190 degrees on second nozzle with pva and had fantastic results from it i just printed uh, printed a little bench um to get a small overhang to try that out and from there it was great i used the stock settings uh in idea maker for pva and i had really really good results again just print yourself a cube um, with PVA, print yourself a, or design a small bench with overhang uh, with it and try it out. Again, I had really good luck with eSun PVA. Good stuff. Uh, throw it in some warm water, let it sit there for a couple hours, and ta-da, it comes out great. So uh, there's that. So if you have any more questions on anything, feel free to leave some comments, and we'll see how this Cybertruck comes out and what do we got 27 hours total so which means realistically it'll be done in probably about 20 hours 21 hours something like that and as you can see i'm printing if you can see i'm printing at 240 degrees with the abs in the bed at 90 and uh, we got a cool little model coming so i'll show you all that when i get done and y'all have a great day